morning, on any other May morning in the middle of the month, you'd be here on campus as we celebrate your commencement. This year, as you know, is different. It's different than any other year that we've had in recent memory. But I do want to make sure that we acknowledge you and your accomplishments for this year, today, on the day that should have been your commencement. So I'm just going to get ready, as I normally would have, and talk with you for a minute a little bit about what it means to be a, a graduate of MCLA. The most important part is that you know that I'm proud of you. Your faculty are proud of you for all the accomplishments that you've made. The thing to know is that earning a college degree is never easy, but it's especially difficult this year because of the virus that we've had to all have had to deal with. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you're not a graduate of MCLA. You are, in fact, a graduate because you've completed all the things that are necessary in order to be considered a graduate of this fine institution. And so I want to take a few minutes just to say how proud I am of you, that you are, in fact, a graduate, even if you haven't had a commencement today, so that you know, and everyone who knows you is aware, that you are a graduate. Enlist anybody think that you're not. Let me confer the degree on you right now. By the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts through the Department of Higher Education and the Board of Trustees of Massachusetts College of Liberal Arts, I am pleased to confer upon these designated candidates who have completed all academic requirements and who have been approved by the undergraduate and graduate faculty the Certificate of Advanced Graduate Study, the Degree of Master of Education, the Degree of Master of Business Administration, and the degrees Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. So this is a cheap substitution for how we should have celebrated you today if we could. But there will be a day of celebration. It is coming. I can't tell you yet when that will be, but it will be someday soon. We will all gather and will rightfully honor you for the accomplishments that you've made. Let me now introduce to you Dennis Ducharme, the president of the Alumni Board of Directors, who will welcome you into the Alumni Association. Allow me to offer you the MCLA graduating class of 2020, my congratulations. You all have overcome an exceptionally challenging end to your final semester, and I applaud you for the grit and determination that you've shown in completing your academic journey. MCLA has given you and thousands of alums ahead of you a strong foundation and springboard to allow you to go forward with confidence to conquer the challenges ahead of you and meet the opportunities that you're presented with. When you look back at your college years, I hope you do so really, really fondly. But I hope you don't look back just at the fun that you had with your friends. I hope you look back at the MCLA community and realize that it was an unbelievable support work network doing the most for you day after day after day. Uh, this college is an institution which has given you something you should never forget. The people at MCLA, the staff, the administrators, the faculty, work tirelessly day after day to do the best for you and your peers, and I hope when you look back, you will always appreciate what they did for you. In my role as president of the MCLA Alumni Association, it's my honor and privilege to welcome you into a community of 19,000 members working and living all over the world. Having this community means that you'll never have to walk alone. That community will always be with you, and I hope that as you continue to build relationships with your own class, that you take advantage of the support of those other alums who are rooting for you and who will be there for you in the future. I look forward to celebrating with all of you live at your rescheduled commencement ceremony. Until then, be well. I wish it was the case that we were together today. Commencement is one of the most important academic ceremonies that we have. It allows us to celebrate you for the important accomplishments you've made by earning your college degree. And it also acknowledges the work that faculty and staff have put into providing a high quality public liberal arts education. Normally at commencement at this point, 
I would offer the class of 2020 a final charge, but I'm not going to do that today because I hope that we'll be together again soon so that we can, in fact, correctly so celebrate you with a formal commencement. But there are some things I want you to think about today as you finish up your degree. First, I want you to know that change is always with us. In fact, Heraclitus says it's the only permanence in life. Sometimes that means we have to embrace it, whether or not we like it. It's also the case that throughout your lives, you will face challenges. And in fact, as much as you may not like those challenges, they will strengthen you. And finally, I want you to know you are the best hope we all have to improve our world. So go out and do just that. To the graduating class of 2020, congratulations, and I look forward to seeing you very soon.